Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to answer question eight, part C, from the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P1 June uh, the R replacement paper, and eight part A and B I've answered in separate videos, which you can find in the playlist for this particular paper, which will appear at the top of the screen at the end of this video. Um, as for part C, this is dealing with transformations of graphs and sketching graphs, which is kind of like a different topic than A and B. So I've decided to save this in a separate video. And so I can put it in a separate playlist. Um, here we got a question um, about transformations and sketching. So there's two ways we could approach this question. Um, one way would be to sketch this graph and then re-sketch it according to this transformation. Um, but the way that I'm going to proceed is I'm actually going to sketch it because we actually have the original equation by just replacing here, in this case, the x with 2x and then sketching the equation that we get. So, uh, for example, f of 2x here means basically replace the x with 2x. So instead of x here, I'm going to have 2x. So I have 2x minus 3 squared um, times. And instead of this x, I'm going to have 2x. So it will be 2 times 2x plus 5, which will give us 2x minus 3 squared times 4x plus 5. I don't want to expand any more than this because this is exactly how I want it to be for me to be able to sketch this graph. So I'm going to sketch the graph y equals 2x minus 3 squared times 4x plus 5. That's the graph I'm going to sketch and that will be the answer basically. This is f of 2x. Okay, f of 2x is when you take the x in the original function and replace it with 2x. Now, if we had a sketch of a graph and we didn't know the equation of the graph, then I would, would go back in a different way, which I'm going to explain um, you know, to, after I've drawn this. So first of all, let's draw this graph here. So we're going to have a pair of axes. Okay, so this is a graph I'm going to draw. Let me just... So I'll have, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? The way I like to do this, I don't draw the graph axis first. First of all, I, I'm going to do this. I know that I have a cubic graph. This is cubic, why? Because we've got the highest power is x cubed. Okay, and you have a positive x cubed. You have a positive coefficient of x cubed. It's going to give you 8x. It's going to get, actually going to give you 16x cubed, because this will be 2x all squared. A 2x all squared, 4x squared times 4x, that will be 16x cubed, but it will be positive. So it's going to have this type of shape, up, down, and up, right? And we have, when fx or f of 2x equals 0, we have 2x minus 3 squared equals 0, and you have 4x plus 5 equals 0. This gives you x equals 3 over 2, and this is a special type of root, which is called a repeated root, and this gives you x equals minus 5 over 4. Okay, so this is a special type of root, repeated root, because you have a squared bracket. Okay, you have 2x minus 3 equals 0, then 2x minus 3 equals 0 again. So when, first of all, I'm going to just draw a cubic graph. I'm going to draw a cubic graph, which has, goes up, down, and up again like this. That's what I'm going to draw. Just try and do it as neat as possible. Make it better than that, maybe. Make it a bit thinner, because this is one of those... Let me just, sorry, try and do it a bit more. Okay, that's okay. All right, so now I know that when x equals minus 5 over, when x equals 3 over 2, which is 1.5, and this is minus 1.25, we have a repeated root. Now, when you have a repeated root, the graph turns on the x-axis. The graph turns on the x-axis. So what we can say here is, at this point here, you're going to have the turning point where it turns on the x-axis. We can say one of the turning points. Okay, so this is going to be the turning point when x equals 1.5. Right, because you have a repeated root of that section. Whenever you have this repeated root, the graph turns on the x-axis. Okay, and the place, the other place where it cuts the x-axis is going to be here. Minus 1.25. In this case, this is a place in here you have a, a single root, so it, it cuts through the x-axis at that point. Okay, 
and we can see that it's going to cross the y-axis okay when you got nine times five which is 45 so if you draw the x-axis it's going to be something like this and also that's 1.5 that's minus 1.25 so zero is kind of closer to this side than it is to that side so it's going to go something like this let me just make that axis a bit thinner okay so there's a y-axis there's the x-axis that's the point 45 that's minus 1.25 on the x-axis that's 1.5 on the x-axis it says show the coordinates of any points where the curve touches or crosses the coordinate axis so there we have i'll write this in terms of coordinates no problem and that's 0 0.45 okay so that basically is the, the sketch of this curve okay it goes through these points now if for example we had something drawn of this form and we hadn't we, we we knew how to do f of 2x but we didn't we only had the sketch of the graph we didn't know uh, the equation of the graph then we could take this original for example the graph would have gone through here three and it would have gone through uh, 2.5 and it would have basically gone through the same point here so it would have gone up down and it would have like cut through it would have like turned on three but the whole graph has been squashed has been translated by or sorry transformed stretched has a horizontal stretch of factor a half or the x coordinates were halved okay from the original and to give you f of 2x but in this case we don't really have to worry about that too much okay we can just take our equation replace the x with 2x and then can we make a sketch of what we end up with Okay, so that's fine. And that answers the question part C of question number eight. I hope that was clear. It's all about sketching graphs. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the screen at the end of the video. Other questions from the topic of transformations and um, you know functions uh, you'll find in and sketching curves as well. Uh, I'll, I'll put transformations here and put sketching curves over here. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the top. Thank you for watching and see you soon.